Really, um, really quick, this guy Charles that uh, emailed our instant feedback about Central Islip, I brought up that I, I live there. He reminded me of something, uh, the racial hatred that was going on in Central Islip. And then this just hit me. I forgot about this. I lived in an apartment complex that was on uh, Hawthorne Avenue, if anyone's familiar with um, Central Islip. And uh, there was one building out of all the apartments that they put all the black people in. Dude, they put all the black people in one apartment building. Out of all the apartments. Out of all the, it was like a, a garden apartments, you know, they were uh, uh, two-story strip apartments, and they were laid out all over. There must have been, I don't know, 20, 30 units, and one unit, and it was the rundown one, the one that never really got painted or never got maintained. When you walked in, the stairway was a mess, and... And all, every black family that lived in that apartment complex lived in that one building. Like the superintendent, when, you know, whenever uh, uh, somebody would come to rent an apartment and they were black, they got put in that building. It just amazes me. The, the racial tension back then was amazing in there. You know, when you were telling your um, stories about be being beaten up, I'm trying to yeah, remember. Every I, kid's got their ass kicked at some point. I, I was trying to think if I, I ever got beat up and I couldn't think of any, but there was one. It's the famous uh, oh. getting knocked out by my black friend story. <laughs> See, because you're trying to be cool. I remember this. this is a sick story, man. Listen to Opie trying to be hip with the, with the brothers. I had this friend, uh, Gary, uh, all through high school. I don't know if you know anything about me, but uh, I was really into basketball. I was convinced I was going to be in the NBA. Look at I even have an NBA hat on see that. today. And uh, went to all the basketball camps with all the brothers Went on the other side of the tracks to play the brothers. Ah, yeah. Because that's where you got your best uh, b-ball games. Now, uh, was this was this with uh, Centerport, um, with the uh, the high school that you uh, Harper went Fields to? High School. Harper Fields High School. I got knocked out in that gym. Now I know knocked out cold. I know a lot of the uh, a lot of the people in um, that went to that school are, are white. Ah, uh, yeah. So your basketball team must have been very white, and you were going to places. No, 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 that no, had no. Black no, because all teams? the all the black kids that did, you know, go to my high school, they were great at b-ball. Oh, okay. So they're not as probably. I thought you were one of those schools where the no. whole white team has to ship themselves to the black town and just get their asses handed. We them. had black guys at Harbor Fields High School back uh, back when I went there, but they were kind of like black girl. Oh, really? Yeah. They were the fake black guys, you yeah. know. They act like they were really hip and into, you know, into the hood lingo and stuff. But you right. can you can see right through them. Uh, no one I knew that they were fake black guys when we used to play Amityville. Yeah, well, that's uh, Amityville. As yeah. black as it gets back then, mm -hmm. uh, we had armed the guys guards. Are, the guys that bring their kids to the game. <laughs> yeah. like, we oh, had. Geez. This is how sick Amityville was back then, and Wine Dance, and Malvern. Yeah, we played all these uh, high schools. Uh, when our bus pulled up to play mm -hmm. on their home court, yeah, we had armed guards <laughs> that met the bus. They escorted us into the locker rooms. They stayed in the locker rooms with us. And then uh, at, while we were playing, they were right behind the bench. And, Waiting and, for something And to just like all the white kids, the, the black guys on our team, their knees were shaking right. as well. They were they so intimidated. Because they weren't real black guys. Nah, not really. Not like the Amityville black guys. But uh, there, there's the history. So, I mean, I, I played basketball my whole life, went to the camps. I mean, I uh, had a lot of black friends and stuff. And we're playing some pickup uh uh, hoop at, at Harbor Fields High School on a Saturday or something. I don't even remember anymore. And uh, this guy, Gary, I knew very, very well, you know. We're playing, and it's a lot of black guys, a few of us white uh, white kids playing, you know. We're having a good game. And uh, the black guys are calling each other the N-word over and over again. Well, my nigga. Yeah, you in, know? A, in, yeah. A, in a good way. Yeah. Like, you know, the guy made a great shot. Hey, yo, nigga, great yeah. shot, you know. Great shot. So, <laughs> I learned a valuable lesson this day, man. <laughs> so, I, so I'm feeling good. I'm like, these are my friends. Right. We, we've, <laughs> got, we've gone to sleep sleep over basketball camp. We've tra traveled to Amityville together in Malvern. Jimmy just sighed because he knows oh, how this is going to end. <laughs> I've been in their homes. Right. You know, they've been in yours. You just wanted a home, <laughs> drinking their iced tea and whatever. You know, so right. so my friend Gary uh, makes a you know a jump shot, three pointer, whatever. You yeah. know, and a nice uh, nice jump shot. I turn to him as we're running back oh, up the no. court, and I go, "Nice shot." N That's all I got out because the next thing I know is I woke up about two minutes later. He knocked me <laughs> out cold. Really? Knocked me out cold. Chip tooth to this day, from. Oh. It.
Well, you got it. I learned know. a valuable lesson. I wasn't trying to be an idiot or anything. I was like, well, hey, we're all pals You're close. and friends, and I hear them throwing the word around. I mean, I was only like 16 at the time, something like that. Right. What was the lesson? Don't hang out with black guys? <laughs> <laughs> But I don't That's even think I got belt. the whole word out before I, my head hit the court. Yeah. Did that Knocked end the friendship? Out. Yeah, kind of, because it was like, oh, hi. You know, yeah, hey, yeah. man, sorry about this. Did he call you honky? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a weak word. It's hard to be friends with someone after they knock you unconscious. because it's That's like, yeah, true. It's like, yeah, I know you've beaten me savagely. It's a power thing, yeah. man. You got, like, they could always hold uh, that over you. Just the looks, you would know. You want to watch this, now I want to watch that. And then he would glance that way and you go, all right, but we can watch yeah, I remember you knocked me the yeah. F out. Yeah. You got knocked the F out. <laughs> so I learned a lesson that day. Yeah. Well, thank God we've come so far the lesson, since those times. Make sure they don't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, that's great. <laughs> That's a joke. Come on. Uh, of course. Uh, Stop. Love right. to see you being belted in the cheekbone, though, with a little blonde hair. Wouldn't that have been great to see? <laughs> Just like, oh, is he? what does he say? Oh, no. Oh, no. We knew how that was going to end. And then I, I, I don't know how long I was knocked out. I'm not going to exaggerate. Probably, I said two minutes, but who knows? Maybe yeah. 15, 20. I don't know. I really don't know. And it was just so embarrassing as everyone's looking down at me, knowing why I'm laying there. Uh, your wallet gone and everything. Right? <laughs> no? Oh. I just assumed. I'm I got sorry. up and brushed off my, my thin little legs. and. Ah. Uh. I had a were they all kind of giggling at you, like dumb white No, boy. people were kind of bummed, and that was the end of the oh. game, really. And I just walked off the court and went home. And what did Gary do as you picked your little beaten body up off the court? He uh, he took out his pick and started combing his hair, I think. Yeah. Yeah. In an afro. Oh. It's like a... I wonder what ever happened to that guy. <laughs>